Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a 301 redirect list that you can import into WordPress using Yoast SEO Premium. So I have a website that I'm building out that's actually going to replace several websites that a customer set up over the years on her own. And today I'm going to set up a redirect list on the new website from this one we're looking at right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL of the website that I want to set up the redirects from. And I'm going to open up a tool called Xenu Link Sleuth, which you can get for free and it is incredibly useful. We're going to go to File, Check URL. We're going to paste in that URL and it is going to spider the website and get a list of links. So once it's finished, we're going to go to File, Export to Tab Separated File. We're going to save the file, which I've already done. And then you can open that file up in either Excel or Google Sheets or whatever your spreadsheet of choice is. And I've already done all the work on this file, so we're gonna undo that. All right, here we go. All right, now we're back to square one. So here is our tab separated file imported into Google Sheets. Um, the first thing that we wanna do is basically we wanna whittle this down to only the information that we need. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to select all the data, we're going to select column D, which is the MIME type, and we're going to sort on that column. So now, since we've sorted on the MIME type, we want to get rid of everything that's not text HTML. So from line one down to the last thing that's not text HTML, we're gonna select those lines, we're gonna delete them. Then we're going to do the same thing for anything that's not text HTML down below. All right, so now we're left with only a list of HTML pages. That's, that's great, but it's not enough. Uh, we want to whittle this down a little bit further to only HTML pages that are on the domain that uh, we're redirecting. So what I'm gonna do is once again, select all. We're gonna select the URL column. We're gonna sort on that, okay? So now we're going to, once again, select everything that's not on our domain that we're redirecting from. We're gonna delete that stuff above. We're gonna delete that stuff below. And now we're left with just a handful of URLs that are on the site that we're redirecting. Now, we actually don't need anything else in this spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all that. Delete all the columns that we don't need. And we're going to further reduce this down to a list of relative URLs, because that's what we need. We don't need the absolute URL on our redirect list. So we're going to copy everything before that first slash in the URL. We're going to do a search and replace on that and replace the uh, URL that's just the schema and domain and we're gonna replace that with nothing and do a replace all, okay? And I'm gonna get rid of this first line which is just a forward slash which will map to our homepage we don't want to redirect slash because, well, we'd end up redirecting it back to slash, then we'd have an infinite redirect. So let's get rid of that if that's there. And finally, we are left with a list of pages to redirect. And to make this list compatible with the Yoast SEO plugin, I'm gonna show you a little trick. If we go into Yoast SEO, First, you need to make sure that the advanced features of the plugin are turned on, which you can do by going to Dashboard, Features, making sure Enabled is turned on and clicking Save. Then, if we go into the Redirects tab, we can see, well, there's nowhere to do an import. So, we'll go to Tools, we'll go to Import Export. Lo and behold, there is an Import Redirects tool under Yoast SEO Premium. And we can import redirects from a .htaccess file. So what we need to do is figure out the right format for those. This website that I'm on right here will give you that format, which is just the word redirect, a space, the redirect type, which is either 301 or 302, another space, 
the old URL, a space, then the new URL. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. We're going to add two columns to the left of our old URL. And the first one we're going to fill with the word redirect for every row of data. The second one, if we plan to do 301 redirects, which is likely what you want, we're going to fill with 301 the whole way down. All right. Now to the right of the old URL, we want to add the redirect to URL, which is, well, we're just gonna redirect all these to the home page. Now, if you have pages on the new site that match to these, certainly redirect to those instead rather than your home page. But now our spreadsheet is basically done and we can go to file, download as, and we're going to select tab separated values or TSV. So this is just a basic text file and we're gonna open this up in a text editor that actually allows us to match on regular expressions and I'll show you why. Um, so I'm gonna open this up with Notepad++ and you can see that rather than being separated with a space, all of our columns are separated with a tab, which is not what we want. So let's do a search replace. We're gonna make sure search mode extended is turned on, which will allow us to match on special characters. Under find what, we're gonna do slash T, which will match a tab, and we're gonna replace it with a single space, and we'll do replace all. That looks more like it, doesn't it? So now that we have our redirect list, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this as, well, don't mind me, I need to find where to save it. Clients. I have a very specific file structure here, that's for sure. All right, so now that I've saved that file, we can't import the file as a file, we have to import it as text. So we'll select all, copy and paste, go into Yoast SEO, paste that in to the import redirects from HT Access tool, and it says they've been imported. So for the small list that I had, this might be a pretty silly example, but if you are working with a website that has more URLs than this one had, this is gonna be an incredibly useful time saver. So, um, well, I uh, hope you find that useful in the future, and I will uh, provide more tips as I've got them on WordPress and SEO and anything else. All right, from Reich Web Consulting, this is Brian, and I'll catch you later.